Today we're talking about and discussing five reasons why you should consider purchasing the Sigma FP. In case you missed it, Sigma did announce earlier this month that the 25th of October is Sigma FP Day. And to celebrate the Sigma FP, they are holding an event in their Burbank headquarters. And as you may know, I'm a huge fan of the Sigma FP and wish I could be there in person, but I figured I'd ring in this event in my own way. I went back and forth on what to talk about. I've done a plethora of some of my favorite features and settings and things of that nature, but something that I kind of grabbed gravitated to was over the years, I recommended the FP to so many different uh categories of filmmakers and photographers, I figured that one thing that may be nice is to kind of summarize why if you're shopping for a camera, you may want to consider the Sigma FP. And so without further ado, to ring in the Sigma FP day, let's talk about five reasons why you should consider the Sigma FP. The first reason is for the fact that it is a compact cinema camera. This is a camera that if you're looking for a good crash cam or a lightweight camera to mount in unique places, this is definitely one to consider. A couple years ago, I did a video talking about how the Halo TV series actually used the FP for their helmet cam. And that is just one example of using this camera in a scenario where you may not be able to use other cameras. And so if you are looking for a compact cinema camera, this is one to consider. Now that kind of plays into the second reason, which is a low cost of entry for a raw workflow. A lot of professional cinema cameras do have the ability to shoot in a raw video codec. And so as you progress in your filmmaking career, you may have to shoot with some of those cameras. And the Sigma FP gives you the ability to potentially get used to a raw workflow at a lower point of entry budget wise. And when you shoot with something like a RED or an RE camera, you may be familiar with how to grade raw video while at the same time not breaking the bank at this point in your career. And so that's one of those smaller reasons why you may want to pick up the Sigma FP. But another reason why I may recommend the Sigma FP and is actually a reason we don't talk about a ton on the channel. And that is if you are needing a director's viewfinder. I've known this camera to be available at rental houses as a director's viewfinder. It comes stock with a bunch of different camera profiles. If you are needing to use a Ari Alexa or a Sony Venice or any type of red camera on your production, this can utilize those profiles to serve as a director's viewfinder. This is something I wanted to make an entirely different video on. And that is the fact that Beetlejuice, the production Beetlejuice actually use the FP as a director's viewfinder. This is something that is very common with this camera. And honestly, that's one thing I love about this camera is all the different ways you can use it. And one way to use it is as a director's viewfinder. The next reason why I may recommend the Sigma FP is if you want a good travel or street photography camera. This is one of my favorite street photography cameras or cameras to take with me when I travel just because of how compact it is, but also the amazing image that it captures. And so if you want that compact everyday carry camera. This is similar to maybe reason number one, but that was more on the cinema realm or video realm. This is a great compact photography camera as well. And so for that, that is another reason why I may recommend the Sigma FP. Now, another reason why I may recommend the Sigma FP is if you're looking for an amazing low light camera. Now, the FP is not necessarily on Sony level, but I have pushed this camera to ISO levels that no camera really functions well in, and the images have come out very, very usable. While I was in Japan, I was in a temple and I was using the Lumix 26 millimeter F8 that was on my camera, but there was not a ton of light. And so I actually pumped the ISO up to 12,800. And honestly, the image that this camera produced was very clean. I had to do very little denoising, if any at all. And I got a really, really good image out of it. And so with that, you do have a really good low light performing camera. I love this camera. It has served me well over the, I think, three to four years that I've had it. It's been my A camera. It's been my everyday camera. It's been 
everything I need it to be. And honestly, I love the image that comes from this camera. And I'm so excited to see what comes from Sigma as far as following up from this camera or potentially what they do with this camera going forward. And so with that, if you are a fan of the FP, let me know in the comments below, what are some things that you love about the FP? And I hope you guys have an amazing Sigma FP day. Yeah.